How's it going everybody? Hope you're all well. <coughs> it's uh, another episode of Inshore Fishing. It is Wednesday and it's just gone four o'clock I think. I've got my dad and my sister coming out of me today, they want to come out. We're going to go up the, uh, the Great Bank there, up the point, um, try for some well, try for some flatties hopefully, but uh, hopefully we'll get something. We'll chop the mackerel feathers out as well and hopefully get some mackerel. So stay tuned guys, we're going to get the stuff out of the van and we'll make our way down to the boat. Right guys, we're going to fuel up. I've got to put a bit of fuel in today. I always like to top it up when I come. So we're going to fuel up, do a little couple of maintenance checks before we go out and then we're going to be on our way. Bigger, bigger turbots in here. Yeah. What bait you got? Mackerel and fresh. Yeah. You got any feathers on the rod? Yeah. Mm. The rod out for Hello to the camera well. then everyone. Hi. Say hello to the camera. Say hello to the camera. <laughs> Just uh, the camera. get me underneath my jumper the pliers in there. Look camera. <laughs> Just every now and then, this is my inlet for my water, and my engine. It's always good to keep an eye on it because you'll get weed, weed that will come up in there. It's better, better to release it a bit. The water just comes over. So if top. I open that like that, the water will come in. You can see straight from the bottom of the boat. That stops any seaweed being sucked straight into the engine. You'll be surprised how often that gets weed in it. Bit. I'm going to check the water and the oil before we go out today. I like to do it every couple of trips. Hold that. Yeah, that's another drawer. You got it? Yeah. That's my rag going down. Hanging up. It's always good to check the oil and water every few trips. That's fine. Top that up a little bit. See that leak? That's where my hydraulic fluid leaks. Right. That's a seal there. Well, Bobby said sometimes it. This gets pitted, he said sometimes so it's not worth repairing this one new one. Why does it turn off? That's right. Right, so I was saying about my I got a slight leak from my hydraulic pump. This is where it's leaking from. So when I get hookies and stuff like that, I'm not getting the pressure in the winch that I should do because it's losing it out of there. I'm hoping it's just a seal. I need to get these get this off and uh, take a look at it. So yeah. Right, let's get her fired up and get out there. Push start, no key, so give it a bit of heat. Push the start button. Straight away.
There's fish on here. Yeah, fish on. This is her, but it's a baby. Oh, here it is, Tipper. What is it? Perfect. Fresh mackerel. Yeah, look. Nice fresh bit of bait. Well, it was free, but one just dropped off. Right, guys, fish on. Not sure what it is. Definitely not a dogfish. Oh, it is a dogfish. <laughs> Dogfish number two. See you snap my line there. Fish number three. Fish number three. Keep weight there. Come on, read up, read up. Keep the weight on it. I can't do it. Go on, read up. Go on, just there. Get it in two. Well done. Fell up, so it don't care. Say what? <laughs> Possible fish arm guys. Not a lot of weight there. Dog fish. Come on. I just grabbed his tail and it slipped out my hand. <laughs> Fish on, fish on again. again. Lift these fish on. Get some fresh bait. Just again. when you get it, Tiff, lift the rod up right up in the high when it comes to your boat. I mean, keep reeling. Oh, yeah, you let them. You don't want to let them slap. Keep the weight always there. Uh, oh, yeah, when you get it up on the surface, walk back and walk over. That's it. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Do it. Good deal. Put the chase's legs. Yeah, don't worry about it. Get another one. <laughs> Fish on guys, probably sand eels. Oh, yeah. Down Biggest catch of the day.
of him, chop him back. size we'll give that a measure in a minute we'll get these pots out first that's not bad back out all right yeah chop them here Okay, 
Nature's crabs. That's you can see is well in that. That one obviously is well in. Lobster, oh, I reckon that's in. Oh look at that. That's borderline that I'd say. But you know what? We won't keep it, we'll let it go because it's just gone there. Still? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're just going to pin these guys. I've showed you before in the last video. What you want to do is get the claws open. There's a bit of skin in between there. You want to pop that. And that will stop them biting you. Straight up there like that. Well guys, that's another episode anyway. Uh, did it right there, we had a few dogfish and some mackerel, um, some yeah. sand eel as well, which we'll, uh, I'll freeze them and I'll keep them for shore fishing. Um, we had them a couple of lobsters, they were too small. One brown crab edible to eat, to keep for myself. Um, so yeah guys, thanks for watching again. Don't forget to hit the like, and like, share and subscribe button. And make sure you hit the notification bell until it goes solid to get all notifications of all the videos I put up. Cheers guys, till next time, stay safe.